गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अमलास चैनल दिस इज माई फर्स्ट वीडियो माई स्पेशलिटी इज आर्गानिक केमिस्ट्री एंड आई हैव थर्टी इयर्स एक्सपर्टेज इन ए पी ए प्रोसेस डेवलपमेंट कैंसर रिसर्च एंड न्यू ड्रग डिस्कवरी एंड आई वर्क विथ रेनोड फार्मा कंपनीज the objective of making these videos is to make this chemistry understandable to the scientist whoever is working on the bench with this i don't want to focus on the chemistry part because so many uh, chemistry videos are available online and most of the people they are properly qualified that is post docs and phd's are working in benches my objective is to uh, enhance your passion towards the bench work finally uh, bench work success leads to the project project success it it uh, plays an important role so in this video i am going to talk about apa process development ap first of all what is apa process development it's a bulk drugs process development so who who is your customer for whom you are working you just keep in mind are you working for your employer are you working for your salary no this is incorrect you work customer is patient you just keep in mind before starting any work because with that process development we are making those bulk drugs affordable to the patient so we are working with the very great objective so we have to consider api process development as a creative art because it is in your hands whoever is working in the bench if you focus you can make that medicine affordable to the needy patients so what is step number 1 you have to do complete literature search available till date means what maybe you may be knowing that uh, there you may be knowing the fundamentals of reductions oxidations everything still with respect to that project you have to do complete literature search stage wise because that literature is already known we are talking about the process development of the api that is generics for which chemistry is already existing so you have to start with complete literature search available till date and summarize section wise known root of synthesis what are the known root of synthesis process descriptions the reagents catalyst impurities polymorphs and process for the preparation of the polymorphs so you have to do this section wise and don't ever conduct a single experiment without thorough understanding of the known literature this itself saves a lot of time and now what is the need of the project you should understand so first of all you have to work in the basic patent route so you work on the basic patent route and identify the known polymer that is mandatory in every project then you have to design your ways depending on the project needs then what is required for the project everybody they aims for the novel routes novel routes is not to break uh, not to break complete chemistry because you are not aiming for the nobel prize ultimately what you need is a non infringing route from all the known ROSs as per existing patent claims so think smart 
you have to go through the patents of claim part exclusively claim parts of all the patents you must be having ipr department in your in your uh, organization they may be giving you the inputs still your intervention is required you have to go through all those ipr reports and the claims part based on that you can design your non infringing rule and keep in mind that designed roi should be viable in lab at the same time for scale up in the plant also viability is most important at the uh, in the same scenario raw materials availability is also major criteria and then you have to set the timelines for achieving the project goals set milestones also as per that particular project requirement and identify and plan minimum required exper experiments to complete the project this would be achieved on thorough chemistry and literature study pertaining to the project you just i'm i'm emphasizing that chemistry and literature study pertaining to that project only okay also each and every operation designed in lab should be viewed in plant point of view you should judge yourself that this operation is viable in plant or not is it suitable for the scale up operations or not and challenging and optimizing stage wise reagents conditions parameters is essential here also overdoing is not necessary don't do just like that means what the mole ratio is 1 is to 1 let us do 0.9 let us do 1.1 1.2 1.3 not for the documentation sake first of all for the completion of the project what is required you have to do thorough study i agree but with thorough knowledge of the project you can minimize number of experiments and you have to derive optimal experimental parameters based on all this data you have to derive on the optimal experimental parameters there is lot of source of sophistication in uh, chemistry instrumentation still try not to leave traditional met methods like tlc for inferring daily experiments by tlc you will get very good amount of uh, very good amount of information for reaction monitoring agree because without tlc i cannot i cannot uh, imagine a project tlc is a great art actually if you develop a proper tlc method for a stage definitely you will see success in that stage you should be confident that starting material is absent or not what is the is the starting material is absent or how much is approximately remaining so tlc is a great tool use all the conditions uv iodine charring everything and patenting at the right time generate edge over your competitors please keep in mind you have to patent in right time and uh, whoever is the team lead maybe you are leading one to two scientists three scientists or a number of scientists but discussing with the scientist involved in bench work listening to him taking or giving inputs and make them to understand the make them to understand the project requirements on daily basis is key to success team lead should always be reachable to get better project outcome 
so uh, these are the just few points i just i just want to start with the api process development in the forthcoming videos i will be discussing in detail how to conduct polymorph how to get a new polymorph and based on your requirements also i can add videos uh thank you so much for watching this video and i request you to subscribe to my channel and my very objective of doing i'm re repeating once again my very objective of doing this videos is i have about 25 plus years expertise i want to share my knowledge with all the scientist young young scientist who is struggling or uh, they are who is confused about the needs of this chemistry so kindly watch this video subscribe and share uh, with other scientist also and let me know if there is any particular requirements you want to know from me you are most welcome thank you